minute from the bottom of our two hearts. Well, hello and welcome back. Thanks for coming back. Where are we? Downtown, Kedo Paphos. We're on top of the toilets. Yes, would you believe it? This is the raised viewing and sunbathing area. And look at that for a view. Oh my goodness. Straight out into the blue, 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 blue Mediterranean Sea. Now, without further ado, I'm going to introduce you to the most beautiful woman in the world. And of course, her name is Miss Ochin. Gracivia Labu. Hello, everybody. How nice to see you again and again on this luxury, beautiful point of view. And you're thinking to yourself, if I ever had such a balcony, I don't mean because it's huge. Leave this huge things a little bit away but I mean the place and the location and the view that you overlooking if you had such a balcony with a little house on the edge of the seaside and having a cup of coffee or tea whichever you like every morning would you ever die? Well we'll leave you to answer that question feast your eyes and digest Don't forget, if you do like what you see, hit that like, click that subscribe, and please keep coming back for that little bit more of our complete and utter madness. Oh my God, this lady's having tits up. Beautifully done, by the way. <laughs> what do you mean? It's, what? Please explain what you mean. Well, I know that tits up, it's Omandi said to me. Yes, means of the Hancock clan. Then something cock what? Hancock clan that's their surname why are you swearing you're again? confusing hand and cock now aren't you yes there we are i bet sir jeff is having a good laugh as well big big shout out to you guys we know you're coming back soon drop it in the comments or perhaps put it in a whoops at whoops whoops a whoops a whoops at message and let us know when you're coming uh and she said to me that tits up means when something goes wrong my goodness in my imagination, uh, I would say, when everything goes right. <laughs> when everything goes right, yes, indeed. Right, let's get on to the downtown Kedapapas Promenade. Let's take you with us and let's show you some of its beauty and, of course, some of its spectacality. Yes, Sir Jim, there's that word. Cuddle up to Lady Amanda and, of course, give her a kiss, give her a cuddle. And you will soon be getting on a big bird or perhaps getting on a canoe. Who knows? But I'm pretty sure you're going to be paddling like crazy to downtown Paphos. And I'm very, 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 very thankful to these people who are correcting me and really enjoying my pronunciation or my in-understanding. Un-understanding? Yeah. Of of the different pronunciations or word combinations but please tell me how would I know if Mandy didn't tell me what this tits up mean or his program flew away from the no window down what what happened yeah there we are this window. goes to another story I once came back home and she said what's the plan for today and I said ah the plan's gone out the window. The look on her face was, well, pure confusion, because of course, if you translate that, everything's gone out the window. Anyway, we went for a drive, and about half an hour later, she looked at me with a strange look on her face, and she said, can I put the window down? And I said, well, of course you can put the window down. She said, well, you told me the window had fallen down and the list had gone out the window. And I said, you are literally translating, and you are very, very confused indeed. What do you think of the town called Cockermouth? I can't get my tongue around it. I told you many, many times, by the way, because it's, my goodness, it's hilarious. It is It hilarious. is indeed. So if you like what you see, hit the like, click that subscribe. Don't forget to keep coming back for that little bit more of our complete and utter, well, madness. That's the best word to describe it. And while you do, feast your eyes upon that, which of course is the blue, 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 blue Mediterranean Sea on a spectacality 
of a day indeed. Summer is coming very, very early indeed to downtown Kirkpathos. If you fancy a bit of pizza, well, Pizza Hut could be the one for you. Or if you want to go that little bit higher and get a coffee Nero while you look out into the blueness, or perhaps sit here at the Altea All Day Lifestyle Restaurant. Open for breakfast, for lunch, for evening meal, for cocktails. And we're not going to throw you out until your wallet is empty. Well, I would like to thank our dearest Louise and John, of course, Fionn and Harry, for a beautiful company inviting us on the Chinese, in the Chinese restaurant uh, that very day. Uh, we had a beautiful time with you, as we always do, and uh, it's a shame that Fionn and Harry is going soon, but we know if you don't say bye-bye, you won't say hello. Yeah, they're going to be coming back soon, that's for sure. We wish Fern and Harry a very, very safe trip home and we wish them a fabulous cruise because they're going on a cruise in the summer holidays in and around Rome and all around Italy and off to some of the Greek islands. We know they're going to have a great, great time indeed. But of course, after that, they'll be coming back to Paphos. Of course, we'll be going to go and chai knees another meal somewhere could be chloe's which is coming up the other night we went to the imperial chinese on the main drag just before you get to the promenade and as grisivius just told you it was a great great meal indeed and on top of that of course the company was absolutely spectacular so a big big shout out to the baby barn hawk that's our miss fern and of course harry the keeper and of course a big big thank you to baron john and baroness louise for inviting us and we had a great great evening and we're looking forward to doing it all over again next time i think it's going to be chloe's isn't it well uh whichever place we don't mind uh we just enjoy the company of the people and not really pay at that huge attention on the quality of the food or, or the restaurant in general i mean the people is very important for us people who we really uh, when we meet we we enjoy this company and that's the most important now just over yonder is probably the greatest policeman in the world and there he is he may be arresting these two guys you never know but if you get yourself into trouble they look like a couple of gangsters to me i would arrest them if i was you where's your gun where's your gun it's in the shop, was it? Yes, yes. Welcome back, by the way. Thank you. Did you have a good holiday to Thailand? Whew. Yeah, he's, he's complaining. He's put a little bit of weight on there. Anyway, you sort he's these two right. gangsters out. <laughs> yes, we're good, Mara. We're on the downtown Kedapathos Promenade. That is one of the local policemen. He's in charge of the harbour, along with one or two others, obviously. If you get yourself into any problems or you need any help, go to their little wood hutch. Remember... English is not their first language. They speak very, very good English. They often speak Russian. They often speak maybe Polish. Yes, Anna, my superstar. Even though your English is way, way better than ours, so you'd speak in English. But they speak a variety of languages. But please, please communicate very, very slowly and explain what's happened. And those guys will do their very, very best to sort it out. If they need to get their guns out, they will. Well, they have a very difficult job, as you understand all but they have also a very good location to be standing right in the middle of this place where everybody will be listened and uh, all these rights will be on their side because they're very, very fair people and they will do all their best in order not to uh, bring you any troubles. And I wish it will never happen, by the way. No, hopefully you just go over and say Yasu Gumbaru. Anyway, we've come to one of the most famous places on the downtown Kedapapas Promenade and it's the little fisher boy. And there he is standing at the end of this little area. Why not come and join him and feast your eyes and digest that, which of course is the beauty of the blue, 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 blue Mediterranean Sea. There is jet skiing, there is parasailing. There's all sorts going on out there. And on top of all that, Miss Ochin Grisila Booth would like to give you a big, big goodbye. It's actually a very nice place where these children, uh, I mean, these uh, boys and girls are swimming. You, you just sail there. It's like a huge pool of the sea, by the way, and uh, the parents can go and enjoy their meal or whatever if they don't want because children mostly enjoy this place. And as it goes warmer and warmer, it's getting more and more um, busy, by the way how nice it is and the weather is absolutely amazing really. it is indeed this is the area called the banya 
hence the cafeteria over there is called the Bania. And of course, the parents can sit around, the little can swim, there's rocks here to stop them going out into the blue, 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 blue Mediterranean Sea. Further over yonder is the designated area by the municipality that allows you to get on a pier, get down some steps and get into that blueness. Twinkle your toes. Tell me what, it's going to be very, very nice at this time of year. The temperature, if you're curious to know, is 26 degrees today. Yep. And we're only in the middle of April. So if you're looking for a spectacularity of a place to come on a holiday, Paphos should be at the very, very top of your list and of course many people come to Paphos not once but twice a year we're going to say a big big goodbye very very soon indeed to our superstars from all the way down in Cornwall that's our lady Kerry and her lord Tony but guess what they're going to come back in September and we're going to do it all over again it's a shame by the way that they're leaving but of course like we said we should say goodbye in order to say hello again and again I would love to thank you for being with us, for your beautiful, lovely hearts. We loving you to bits and kissing you from the bottom of our two hearts. If you like what you see, hit the like, click that subscribe. Don't forget to keep coming back for that little bit more of our complete and utter madness. And of course, while you're at it, why not go and hunt us down on that Buy Me A Coffee platform? Because that's where you could gift us that virtual coffee or two. And a big, big shout out and a very, very big thank you to Darren and his girl, Rosa. And of course, to Gaz. Thank you very, very much indeed. We, we're loving you. And we'll see you again very, very soon somewhere in downtown Cater Paphos, in particular on the promenade and in the harbour area. There she is. She's dancing. She's prancing. And everything's looking absolutely spectacular. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again very, very soon indeed.